Hi folks, and thank you for joining me for another episode of my easy, delicious meals at home. You can adjust the ingredients for two or three servings. You only need what you see on the screen for this recipe. In this video, I wanted to try something new with my Yum Asia Panda rice cooker. I decided to test out the slow cooker function by making a delicious slow cooked dish of beef mince, onion gravy, carrots and potatoes, served with crispy sourdough toast on the side. Start by cutting the onions and carrots into chunky pieces. This ensures that they cook evenly and contributes to the dish's texture and flavor. Begin by peeling the onions and carrots, then slice them into pieces that are roughly the same size and thickness. Once chopped, set aside for later. Start by heating two tablespoons of cooking oil in a pan over medium-high heat. Once the oil is hot, add the beef mince and spread it out evenly in the pan. Stir, allowing the mince to brown thoroughly on all sides. This is known as the Maillard reaction, which enhances the taste and gives the beef a desirable texture. As the mince cooks, it releases juices that can be used to enrich the dish further, infusing it with a savory essence that is sure to tantalize the taste buds. Transfer the browned mince into the Yum Asia pot, which will be used later in the cooking process. In the same pan, use the remaining beef juices, which are packed with flavor, to fry the onions and carrots. The aim is to achieve a light browning on the vegetables, which should be done over a gentle heat to avoid burning. This process not only builds layers of flavor but also utilizes the caramelized bits left from browning the meat, which is essential for a rich, savory dish. Add a splash of water to deglaze the pan. The caramelized bits help create a tasty gravy. The deglazing liquid can be reduced to intensify the flavor. By adding a liquid, such as water, wine, or broth, and then heating the pan while scraping the bottom, these flavorful bits are lifted and dissolved into the liquid. Then, add the fried onions and carrots with the deglazing liquid to the Yum Asia pot. To continue, pour in two cups of beef stock. This amount is typically sufficient to cover the ingredients, which is crucial for even cooking and flavor. If the ingredients are not fully submerged, feel free to add more stock until they are fully covered. Remember to add the seasoning according to the recipe, and then proceed with your recipe's next steps. The last step is to add the diced potatoes to the pot. After adding your other ingredients, add the diced potatoes. Whether the potatoes have their skin on or are peeled doesn't impact the outcome. When adding diced potatoes to a pot, ensure they are submerged in the liquid. This allows them to cook evenly and absorb flavors from other ingredients. Stir gently to distribute the potatoes throughout the pot. Add a few twists of salt and pepper. Adjust the seasoning according to your taste preferences. If needed, adding an extra half cup of beef stock will ensure that all your ingredients are thoroughly covered during the cooking process. This step ensures optimal flavor distribution and helps prevent any dryness. To use the slow cook function on your Yum Asia Panda rice cooker, begin by selecting the slow cook option from the menu. Once you have chosen this setting, you'll need to set the cooking time. For a duration of two and a half hours, you may need to manually input the time as this may not be a preset option. Remember to avoid opening the lid too frequently during the cooking process, as this can release the moisture and flavors that are essential for slow cooking. Once the cooking time has elapsed, the rice cooker will typically switch to a keep warm mode, maintaining the temperature of your dish until you're ready to serve. To thicken the gravy, mix 2 teaspoons of corn flour with 3 teaspoons of cold water and gradually add the corn flour mixture to the pot. Stir continuously to prevent lumps. Keep adding the corn flour mixture until the gravy reaches your desired thickness. Add some crunchy sourdough toast alongside your meal. 
The contrast of textures and flavors will complement it perfectly, even if your bread is store-bought. Well, folks, I wish you were here to smell, to smell this. It is, <laughs> smells absolutely lovely. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. Right, let's get, let's get serving. It smells as nice as it looks. Cool. There's a good two servings here. Fantastic. And all this from a rice cooker. <laughs> Would you believe it, mate? Let's have a go. For a cheap meal, that tastes absolutely lovely. You know, all in one pot. Throw it all in. I can taste the onion gravy, the meat, the mince is cooked perfectly, and it just tastes the what a, the tastes have all melded into one. Potatoes are cooked. To have a sourdough, you know toast. What a cheap accompaniment. This is fantastic. Oh, I don't know if you can hear the crunchy toast, but it really is nice. <laughs> This is my tea, folks. Gorgeous. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope to see you in the next video.